This photograph portrays a young indigenous woman from the Sioux tribe who lived on the Rosebud Reservation, located in the American state of South Dakota. The image was captured by Jesse H. Bratley, a teacher who worked in various indigenous schools between 1893 and 1903. This is a historic photograph of Iron Hawk, a indigenous leader from the Oglala Lakota tribe, part of the Sioux Nation. The photo was taken in 1900 during the Greater America Exposition in Omaha, Nebraska, where Iron Hawk participated as one of the indigenous delegates. The photographers responsible for the image were Herman Hain and James Matson, who captured several portraits of indigenous leaders on that occasion. This photograph shows Chief Lewison, an indigenous leader from the Flathead tribe who inhabited the territory of Montana in the United States. The photo was taken in 1908 by N.A. Forsyth, a photographer working for the Underwood and Underwood Company, specialized in producing and distributing stereoscopic images. This photograph is a portrait of Spotted Eagle, an indigenous leader from the Itazipcho Lakota tribe, also known as Sans Arc. The tribe was part of the Sioux Nation and inhabited the territory of Montana in the United States. The photo was taken in 1880 by L.A. Huffman, a photographer who worked for a stereoscopic image company, an indigenous woman from the Navajo tribe, dedicated to the art of weaving rugs and blankets from sheep's wool, poses for a photograph inside the Canyon de Shelley, a national monument located in the state of Arizona, United States. The image was captured by the photographer, painter, and writer Carl Moon, who specialized in portraying the culture and history of Native American peoples in the early 20th century. A young woman belonging to the Ute people, a group of indigenous people who speak the Numic language and live in the mountainous regions of the Western United States, is depicted in a photograph dated 1880. She wears a long, dark dress adorned with fringes and embroidery. The photograph is part of a collection of images documenting the life and culture of Native American peoples in the late 19th century. Two indigenous leaders from the Oglala Lakota tribe, one of the subdivisions of the Sioux, appear in a historic photograph alongside an American army officer. They are Chief American Horse, who served as an interpreter and scout for the army, and Chief Red Cloud, who led a war against the United States for control of the Powder River Territory. The man in uniform is Frank North, who organized and commanded the Pawnee Scouts, a troop of Native American allies to the army. This is a historic photograph of an indigenous Cheyenne tribe member named Bird Wild Hog. He was also known by the nickname Hedgehog, which means porcupine in English. The photo was taken in 1890 by the photographer Christian Barthelmus, who worked at Fort Keogh in Montana. Bird Wild Hog was one of the Army Scouts, and his father was one of the leaders of the Northern Cheyenne, who fled the Indian Territory in 1879. This is a historic photograph taken by L.A. Huffman in 1880 in the state of Montana, United States. It shows a man belonging to the Crow Indigenous Tribe, a people who lived in the plains and mountains of the region. He is dressed in typical attire of his culture and holds a firearm, indicating his skill as a hunter capable of hunting large animals like buffalo and elk. Keskayo was a man from the Cree Nation who lived in Canada and the United States. He had an English nickname, Bob Small, which means Bob Little. This name may have been inspired by the fact that he had his hair tail cut, which was uncommon for indigenous people at the time. In 1906, he traveled to Butte, Montana, where he was photographed by F.E. Piso, a famous portraitist of Native Americans. A member of the Crow tribe participates in a cultural celebration at the Crow Indian Fair, an annual event that brings together indigenous peoples from the Great Plains around the Little Bighorn River near Billings, Montana, in the early 20th century. Kiya Tadi was the native name of a young woman belonging to the Laguna people, an indigenous tribe from the southwest United States. She was also called Loti or Lota Atsi, names likely given by Spanish or American colonizers. She lived in the Laguna Pueblo in New Mexico around the year 1904. Matawitkotko, also known as Matawitko or Matawitko, was an indigenous man from the Yanktonai tribe, part of the Dakota people. His name means brown bear, mad bear, or foolish grizzly bear in his language. In 1872, he was photographed by Alexander Gardner, a famous American photographer who documented images of the Civil War and Native American leaders. In Montana, at the beginning of the 20th century, a photo by N.A. Forsyth captures a moment when some Native Americans are experiencing the technology of the automobile, brought by European colonizers. 
In this historic photo by John C. H. Grable, taken in 1891, we can observe a scene from the life of the Lakota Indians, one of the tribes that inhabited the northern plains of America. In the background, we see a group of conical tents called tipis, which served as housing for the Lakota. These tents were made of animal skins or canvas, stretched over a wooden frame. They could be easily set up and taken down, allowing the Lakota to move with the seasons and the hunt. This photo, taken around 1920, shows a woman from the Kiowa tribe, an indigenous people of the Great Plains in the United States. She is dressed in traditional attire, including an animal skin dress, bead necklace, embroidered belt, and a headscarf. The clothing reflects the cultural heritage and identity of the Kiowa, who take pride in their art and craftsmanship. This is a photograph of the indigenous leader Sitting Bull, who belonged to the Lakota people of the Hunkpapa subculture. He was one of the primary opponents of the United States government's policies against Native Americans on the Great Plains. The photo was taken by David Francis Barry, a 19th-century photographer who specialized in capturing personalities and scenes of the American West. The approximate year of the image is 1880, a scene from everyday life on the Crow Reservation in Montana at the beginning of the 20th century. A man dressed in traditional clothing applies colors and designs to a large conical tent made of animal skin called a teepee. He uses brushes and natural paints made from plants and minerals. The photo was taken by Richard Throssell, a photographer of Cree origin who was adopted by the Crow tribe and documented their culture and history. A young woman belonging to the Iroquois people, a confederation of Native American tribes that inhabited the Great Lakes region, poses for a photograph in the year 1870. The image was captured by Dichter Vondersmith, an English teacher and author who also dabbled in the art of photography. She wears a dark dress with embroidered details and a bead necklace. Garnet was a member of the Oglala Lakota Nation, one of the seven Sioux bands that lived on the northern plains of the United States. In 1877, he posed for a photo taken by Charles Milton Bell, a famous Washington photographer who portrayed many indigenous leaders and personalities. Garnet wore a feather headdress, bead necklace, fur coat, and a sacred pipe, symbols of his culture and status. Lusaku Rikulaha was a man from the Pawnee tribe who lived in the central region of the United States. His name means particular time of day or respected sun in the Pawnee language. In 1869, he was photographed by the Jackson Brothers, professional photographers in Omaha, Nebraska. They captured many images of Native American peoples and the landscapes of the American West. A young woman belonging to the Apache indigenous people, who live in the southwestern United States, poses for a photograph taken by D.B. Chase, a photographer who documented images of different Native American tribes in the late 19th century. The photo was taken in the year 1889, when the Apache were facing resistance from the American government and the loss of their ancestral lands. This is a photograph of an indigenous Sioux tribe leader named American Horse Chief. He was one of over 500 delegates who attended the United States Indian Congress held at the Trans-Mississippi and International Exposition of 1898 in Omaha, Nebraska. The photograph was taken by Adolf F. Muir under the direction of Frank A. Reinhardt. The dog soldiers or dogmen in Cheyenne, Hotometaneo, were part of a group of indigenous warriors from the Cheyenne Nation who organized into six different military societies. These societies aimed to maintain order, discipline, and the defense of the Cheyenne people, following the guidance of a council of 44 chiefs elected every 10 years. The Dog Soldier Society emerged after a prophet named Sweet Medicine received four sacred arrows in a cave in the Black Hills and reformed the political and social structure of the Cheyenne. This is a historic photograph of two young indigenous girls from the Hopi tribe, taken by German-American photographer John K. Hillers in 1879. The image is part of a collection of 72 photographs Hillers took during an expedition to the southwestern United States, under the auspices of the Bureau of American Ethnology. The Hopi girls are dressed in traditional clothing and wear silver necklaces and earrings. They pose in front of an adobe wall in one of the Hopi villages in Arizona.